Cards. A Hitachi Desk Starter. Now, I have an IBM Desk Starter. From a couple years before, Hitachi bought out IBM's hard drive division. The desk stars are still around today. Now, some of the desk stars were pretty bad, and they were actually given the Death Star name because of their rapid failures. They had glass platters, and they would strip all the magnetic material off of the platters. Oh, I almost forgot to mention the capacity and the date. The date is uh, 2003, and this is 41 gigabytes. 41.1 to be exact. I wanted to give a shout out to DMG. Davis makes games he also does hard drive teardowns pretty in-depth and he compares them and their build quality and i am not just going to be doing drive teardowns so there's these big long screws that go through the center of well i shouldn't say the center go through the magnets to hold it This also has a screw in the center. These drives, one nice thing about these screws in the center is they give it a lot more support. And the bearings will often last longer. Or I should say they can last longer than drives without that. Now, enterprise grade drives have this. The screw in the center. I believe these are not sealed as tightly. Yeah, so these come off relatively easy. Oh, I must... Oh, yes, I forgot about the head screw. I'm sorry, the actuator arm screw. So it's actually called the actuator arm. Let me find it. There it is. There we go. Moment of truth. Well, I'm gonna be honest, it's a little disappointing, but I will tell you why in a minute. So this drive, this build quality, this drive is actually quite good. It's got one pretty thick aluminum disc, and the actuator arm, actually, I know that there is a, they would fit more platters in this chassis, but they've actually, the actuator arm, they made a completely different actuator arm with only two arms on it for each one for each head I'm gonna take the magnet off now this is gonna be stubborn Oh, I hate it when that happens. Just. Ah. Oh, see, this is built nice. See, this is all one piece of solid aluminum here. Machined out of a billet. I like that. Oh, and this is what a landing or, or a load ramp drive looks like. So they got a little ramp right here. So the heads are parked off of the platter. Spins very nice and freely. Which you would expect. Now, I'm going to compare this to the IBM drive I have. The reason I was disappointed is because it's way more similar than I was expecting it to be. But really, maybe I shouldn't have been so surprised. Since they looked very similar, almost identical from the outside. But... There were some differences that made me think that this was going to be a little bit different. I should say it is a little bit different. More different than it is. Let me grab that real quick. So 
So I did not make a video on this drive, but here it is. You know, actually, now that I look at it, it is a little bit more different than I thought. The actuator arms are completely different. So let me reiterate, these are both desk star drives and IBM, IBM was bought out by Hitachi. This is a Hitachi drive. This is the IBM drive. Now I suspect that this voice coil here is going to look exactly the same under this one. So I'm not going to bother with it. And these screws here, I put back in after I removed the cover. So that's neat. I will power up both these drives so you can see what they do. Now this one, strangely enough, I think the board failed on it because this drive worked for me for a while and then the board failed. This one, the IBM one, is all the way back from 2001. Now these are both 7200 RPM drives, which was quite good for this time period. Now 7200 RPM is a standard. But it was not back then. 5400 RPM was much more common. Now, this drive has two discs. You see that? Two discs, two layers. Four read write heads, three actuator arms. Very fascinating. Now to plug them in. So I be it, or I'm shocked. I'm sorry. I should do the Hitachi first. Oh wait, I almost forgot. I gotta put this magnet back on before I plug it in. Alright, now I'm going to find the screws and secure that in place. So like I said, big long screws. I guess they're not big, but they're very long. I imagine these screws have a pretty high tensile strength. They're made out of stainless steel. There we go. All right, now to plug it in. This was also, this one also had the click of death. Actually, I wonder if putting the center screw in would make it a little bit quieter. I don't think it'll make a difference, but it might. Oh no, that that wasn't good. That was a drive I was gonna be reusing. Re that would have absolutely destroyed it, but. Luckily this isn't a drive I was reusing and actually opening, it up, opening up them up and running them like that would have destroyed them anyway. See if that makes a difference. It doesn't seem to be clicking as much or clacking. I think that screw just kind of helps hold it down. That head. Uh oh. Made it mad. Alright, so at least this one's trying. This one just spins up, but that's it. You get absolutely nothing out of the heads. Or the actuator arm, I should say. I'm doing that by hand, of course. 
Nothing. Alright, now I'm going to flip these drives over and show you the differences underneath. So this is the IBM. This is the Hitachi. You can see there's not much difference. Except for this shielding here. And this casting is also different. Okay, there's a bump right here, but not... Right here, but not over here. In fact, this just has a dip. So does this one, but it's not as prominent. See, the this one has the opening over here, and this one has the opening over there. Quite interesting. Alright. Thank you for watching.